have you ever, I mean, because, I mean, there, nobody would argue you've got your hands full with real world issues that just have to do with running the city. Yeah. But statehood matters, and statehood requires almost as due diligence as every other a issue you're working on. Have you ever thought of designating uh, a, 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 an assistant, a deputy, whatever, who just worked on statehood? That's, that's, was, that's a good question. It really is. I, I think uh, for now, we've been working with DC Vote. Um, our secretary of the city uh, has, uh, has put forward a lot of good ideas, and she's our point person. But I mean, a deputy mayor That's for good, statehood. Uh, I, it's not something I've ever heard mentioned in my seven years as an elected office until today. Okay, well. So it's a great idea. <laughs> but, but back to one of our other points. Because it's a constant lobbying job. You've got yeah, to. Yeah, no, it's a good idea. Uh, that's a good idea. And the other point, though, is when we're talking about, you know, kind of the optimism and energy in the city, you really saw that uh, during the whole voting rights push. Right. And I don't think the energy has waned. I think people are ready for us to go right back uh, into the Senate and, and to get those three more votes and get it passed. Because even Mayor Bloomberg has said one of the advantages he had when he was overhauling his school system is he had a state legislature on, his, mm. you know, taking his sure. back. And you, you, don't, you don't have that. And we you don't. Know that. Although... There aren't many people who know the District of Columbia public school system, including the members of Congress, who, again, aren't saying, yeah. charge ahead. Yeah. No, charge I, ahead. I, and, yeah. And I think everybody hears that, and, and I think that you would agree. This was deep water. You knew you were going to get into it. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't going to be easy. And the last no point I would make is, is that you, you, even if you do put a, a, a czar or a deputy mayor there, it's still the mayor has to be involved. Well, the mayor yes, has to be hands-on on our biggest issues and certainly voting rights. <laughs> is is one of our biggest well, issues. Well, well, just if, as you have right Michelle, you've got these people coming back and telling you how it's going. Um, this is this is probably fun stuff, but sports have never been bigger than than what's happening yeah, in Washington right, right now. And what do you think the baseball stadium is going to mean to us? Well, I've always said, even during the the debates, that that what the baseball stadium does mm -hmm. one automatically jump starts revitalization in that mm -hmm. area and, 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 and but probably by years Verizon t t yeah exactly Two, uh, the civic pride in the city the civic pride of having a baseball team that all of us from all of our different neighborhoods and backgrounds can all root for on the same day at the same time y you can't replicate that and, mm -hmm. and, and, and I think those are uh, the two biggest things that uh, that having uh, the Nationals and the stadium uh, right in that area bring to the District of Columbia and, it's a great thing. Have they asked you to throw out the first pitch at the first game, or are they going to ask the president? I actually think the president is, is going to well, throw out. From what I, 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 I think that is true, but we will I be there. I think you'd get more applause. Now, what I don't understand, I, I mean, I, I've read all the negatives. I've read all the sides of the argument, but do you see any way you could talk Dan Snyder into bringing the Redskins back? Because I have a theory. Yeah that they're not going to win the Super Bowl again until they come back into D.C. That's right. Well, you know? that's a heck of a sale. That's a good sale. I like I that one. I think there's a hex on them out there. You know, I... I but I every, know they're real business well, issues. Council Member Evans, who's here, has, has, I think, put together uh, a, a suggestion, idea, or plan, which makes sense. I think if, if we, we... There is a way that we could actually try and bring Tell them us. to RFK, uh, give them the land that's there, mm -hmm. allow them to build on it. It would give uh, Snyder the ability to build not only a state-of-the-art stadium, but a Super Bowl-ready uh, stadium, right, which right. has to be attractive to him. And then, of course, the land value on the FedEx field uh, right now has gone up so much that they could probably make Get a ton of, of money. Get some of the money from that, exactly. though. Exactly. So but it could so be a win-win. They'd ask you for a few dollars, too. They may, but, I mean, the land value, which, yeah. of course, would not lose anything to district taxpayers, uh, I think would, uh, would was a lot of money. Uh, how do you counter the argument, though, that we're not a Super Bowl-ready city, you know, that we don't have the oh, fun no. and games that they want? No, I, I, think, I think that's probably the dish. They're thinking of the city maybe 15 years ago. This city, with everything that's going on downtown, with the, the spark in the neighborhoods, mm -hmm. the great architecture, the museums... There's no better place. We had the NBA All-Star game here a couple of years ago, yeah. I, I, and we did a great job with that. It's a great place. We could put the uh, we could. They say that they need to play golf and go deep sea fishing, and we could put we could put golf in the convention center, and we could take them ice fishing on the Potomac. Do you think that would appeal to the high rollers? <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, I do. But I think there's, I think there's enough, enough to do. I mean, think about the inauguration, seriously, and how many people come yeah, yeah. from all over the country with so much money they and have, have a, a great time. time. Yeah. yeah, you've got an inauguration coming up. I imagine you're already planning for that. That's exactly right. Now, what's this thing about these seats at the Verizon Center that you and the council are arguing about, that there's some, there's some, there's some luxury box seats? And uh, that Abe Poland set aside for the city, and the city council wants them, and the city wants them. Are, are they available to all of us? I mean, can, <laughs> we, can we put in bids on yes. them? Is there? Yes, they are. Are they uh, just are sitting they? empty while you guys try to figure out what to do about no, it? No, no, I, I I haven't seen the, an article about this, but I think in, in oh, it's out there. Is it? Okay, oh well. yeah. <laughs> I missed all these things. No, but I no, absolutely. You'd be they, amazed I think, what I think comes up if you Google your name. There's a city box, <laughs> a city box at RFK, a city box at uh, Verizon Center, there'll be a city box at uh, at the New National Stadium. Right. Yeah. And do you get to the games? Uh, I uh, very rarely make it to games, and uh, and uh, but I made it to I made it to the opening game. But I actually uh, went as a as a guest of uh, of a Poland. Right. And uh, and. We didn't win, but the Wizards are doing better now, which uh, is great. Yeah, apart from running and swimming and, I don't know, biking, every, uh, biking yeah. and do, do you have a sport? I mean, are you, uh, uh, I mean, are you, are you, you have sons, two sons, yeah. right? Are they, are they sports? The boys play everything. They play all the team sports. I like to do triathlons. Do they so. run with you and your dad? No, when they get older. They're still, they're only seven. Are you now. and your dad still running? Uh, I, I sure am. I mean, he, he's still competing. He's done a couple of triathlons over the ca past couple of years. Are you still swimming, like running three days a week and swimming? Yes. How do yes. you do it all? You know, you, you, you squeeze it in and, uh, and you do it And you it need early. it, right? You, you need do it, it for you your head. You absolutely need it. You got you to gotta do something uh, besides just the work. I love the work, but you want to have a release every once in a while. And, 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 and do you do your best thinking when you're swimming or running? Uh, I, I think so. I think so. Sometimes, I mean, endurance sports uh, allow you to kind of get into a, a zone, if you will, right. and, and deep in, get deep into the right. subconscious. So, yeah. Who do you go to when you're perplexed and really need some advice? It depends on the issue. It depends on. The issue. I've always been the type of person. I think uh, I look for some whoever probably knows the most and also knows me and can mm -hmm. give me uh, the, the best combination of advice. But it, it, it could be but do you a have a best person. friend who has no political agenda with you? My wife. That's good. That's good. How's the, how's the family enjoying this? Uh, they, they are enjoying it uh, a lot. I mean, Michelle, I think, is doing a great job as first lady, um, uh, getting involved in, right. in lots of great causes right. uh, here in the She's city. She's very busy. I wonder when you ever see each other. No, you, I mean, it, it, it's not right to say you squeeze it in. Right. Uh, but it is right to say. <laughs> it is right to say uh, that. But you, but you did say that. It is right to say that. It's the, <laughs> we'll edit that. Remember, Channel 16 works for the there. Right. It is right to say that the priorities are family work, right. working out. And you, you, well, actually, what you do, I bet Jack does the same thing. You actually end up blocking out time, like on Friday evenings. You just make it happen. Yeah, you just make sure you never schedule anything during that time. Friday evenings, uh, right. most of the day on Sundays, and then. You, and you, you found you can do that. You have to. Yeah. You have to. Otherwise. You got out for your birthday. By the right, way, happy lot, birthday. Thank you very much. Yes. Of course, you. your privacy was totally cooked, but you did get out. <laughs> um, this is a silly question, but I figured I might as well. We've done so much hard stuff, we might as well end with something silly. Uh, we've seen what Oprah Winfrey has been doing for Barack Obama. Um, so let's say Oprah calls you up and says, uh, Adrian, what can I do for you now? <laughs> I'm handing out political favors. Right. But it's silly, but it's sort of half serious. Um, if she could come and do something for Washington, what? What would you want her to do? Voting rights in schools. Uh, Those we, would be the two she issues. She could be the deputy mayor for state. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. Uh, she well, could definitely get the issue some national attention. Yeah. Well, yeah. she's. Uh, do you have a horse in that race? Yeah. No, I've, I have also endorsed uh, Senator Obama. And uh, Are you going to go out and campaign for him, or have you? Yeah. Actually, the staff is uh, talking to them now. I'm going to do whatever we can to be helpful. I think there's lots of very good Will you go to candidates. Iowa? Uh, that's one of the things they're discussing right now. I mean, people say you're a rock star, so you show up. You might, uh, maybe not an Oprah audience, but right. probably pretty Well, and, and you need good surrogates in any campaign. Mm -hmm. So we're, uh, just like everyone else who's supporting him or their own candidate, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. And did you ask him the important question first, where I he was on stage? Absolutely. So. And when we did our press conference uh, over at Greenleaf Recreation Center, he said it very loud and clear. Okay. 
Well, I'm sure everybody wants to say hello to you personally, but thank you. Thank you very much. And I hope you'll come back every year Absolutely. for many years. Will do. Thanks thank for you, Mayor Thanks Fenton. for time. Thank you.